Hi, I'm Sun Media's Stephen Ripley, and this week I'm running down the top 10 fighters in the history of the Ultimate Fighting Championship. Now, for those who don't know, the UFC marks a milestone next weekend when it holds UFC 100. It's a card that features several big fights, including heavyweight champion Brock Lesnar and welterweight champion George St. Pierre, uh, both of whom will be defending their belts. question is, how did the UFC go from UFC 1 back in 1993 to UFC 100 now? The answer is the 10 guys on this list. At number 10 is Pat Militich, a guy who's better known now for his coaching than he is for his career as a fighter, in which he won the UFC welterweight championship. At number 9 is Frank Shamrock, another fighter from the early days of the UFC. At number 8, there is one of the most popular guys in UFC history, Tito Ortiz, who won the light heavyweight championship and reigned over that division for six fights. At 7 is one of the most versatile and gifted fighters in UFC history, BJ Penn, who has fought everyone from light heavyweights to lightweights, and at the moment is the UFC lightweight champ. He has also held the welterweight championship briefly. Number 6 is Canada's own George St. Pierre, who is the current welterweight champ and is considered one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the planet. This is his second uh, stint as welterweight champion. Number five is the guy GSP beat to become welterweight champion the first time, Matt Hughes. He reigned over the division for four years and is considered probably the best welterweight in UFC history. At number four, I've got another current champ, Brazil's Anderson Silva, who has dominated the middleweight division since entering the UFC in 2006. Number three is former light heavyweight champ Chuck Liddell, who is one of the most devastating punchers in the history of the UFC. Number two is a guy who fought Liddell three times, Randy Couture. Despite losing two of those three fights, uh, Couture has a, a, an incredible resume, including uh, holding a championship in the UFC in two different weight classes at five different times. On top of this is the original UFC champion, Brazil's Hoist Gracie. Now, Gracie won UFC 1, uh, UFC 2, and UFC 4. And that was back in the days when there were no weight classes, and in order to be the champion, you had to fight... Um, two, three, even four times in a night to, uh, to get the belt. So his record speaks for itself. So that's the list. Thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully you'll be watching UFC 100, and uh, go GSP.